This might sound controversial, but I firmly believe that there is a binary of options in life. And either you are shrinking or you are shining. That's just about it. There is maybe no middle ground. Someone might say I'm developing and all those things. But the thing is, either you are shrinking or you are shining your light on the face of the earth. And I want us to discuss some of these things even as we continue in this series of shining. Today I want us to look at one of the things, one of the ways in which you could be shrinking instead of shining. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Yeah, I'm aware it sounds a bit controversial. You might tell me that there is no way that every moment in my life either I am shrinking or I am shining. There could be some middle ground. Probably when I am not necessarily shining my light, maybe I'm pouring oil into my lamp and things like that. See, when you're pouring oil into your lamp, you are actually facilitating the shine, all right? But what if you're pouring oil out of your lamp? What if your lamp is rusted? What if you don't even have a lamp? Then you're contributing towards shrinking. So technically, it's a binary of options. Either you are shining or you're working towards your shine or you are shrinking by maybe doing absolutely nothing or by pulling down your own shine, your own lamp with your own hands. It is a binary of options. And today I want us to discuss how you can shrink. I want us to discuss one of the ways you could be shrinking and you might not be aware that you are shrinking. And I want us to know this because knowing it will help us to put a stop to it or maybe to come to terms and identify, wait a minute, I am leaking in this place or I am not sharp in this place and so on and so forth. When you come to the crossroads of your life, what do you do? What do you do when you come to the crossroads of your life? When you realize that from for one reason or another, you might not be able to maintain your lifestyle the way you've always been keeping it. What do you do? Do you start avoiding people? Do you dread meeting people who will ask you, what's going on in your life? What are you up to? What's new? Do you withdraw from your pursuits in life? Do you stop giving in order to preserve the little that you have left? Do you give in to feelings of discouragement, feelings of apathy, feelings of fear, feelings of disillusionment, feelings of despondency? Do you start believing that your self-worth is now on a dwindle list, diving, nose diving, and you are no longer needed, you are no longer important on the face of the earth? Do you decide to postpone living today? and wait for a breakthrough and then when the breakthrough comes you emerge from the shadows behold lawrence 2.0 has arrived see it is very logical to shrink and to go back at life when you're faced with a challenge when you're faced with a crisis when you're faced with a setback we have already covered the four major ways that you can choose to shine instead of shrinking in the previous four episodes and i still believe this topic needs to be discussed further i still believe we need to keep talking about the shine choices and decisions will be the major contributory factor for us shining or for us shrinking in our lives the point is that if you do not choose to shine you have already made a decision to shrink it's just like they normally tell us in that quote for planning failure to plan is planning to fail 
is the same thing with shining and shrinking. Failure to decide and to choose to shine. Remember, shining is a deliberate action. It is not an automatic action. It is not something that comes by default. It, your default mode is not to shine. Your default mode in life is always to shrink. And shining needs to be done intentionally. It needs to be done deliberately. That's why we are being admonished in scripture to rise up. Arise and shine. Arise and shine for your light has come. Arising is deliberate. It is intentional. It is something that you do. It is not something that is done automatically. Don't wake up rising and shining. No, you choose to shine. So it is very logical to shrink back from life, especially when your situation is not tenable, when your situation is not the way you envisaged it to be. Probably you are waiting for this contract and it didn't come and for one reason or another, you know what, you, you shrink back, your hopes have been dashed. It is easy for you to shrink back because your hopes have been dashed than it is for you to choose to shine regardless of the hopes being dashed. Because you know at the end of the day, you are a child of the living God. You can still shine regardless of what has happened. See, we need to come to that level where we know that shrinking is something that is default. Shrinking is something that happens whether we like it or not. It is on a default mode. And that's why when shrinking is being helped by situations and by circumstances and by setbacks, it is once again an opportunity for us to reinforce our decisions to shine, to arise and shine, it might take a little bit longer than expected now that the situation you did not want to happen has happened. It might not take a short time than you envisaged, but you will need to firm up your decision to rise up and shine for your light has come. It is easy to create a victim mentality around us. When you do it, it deprives you of the power to bounce back, the power to shine. When you decide to mourn the failures, when you decide to throw a pity party and throw a funeral for years on end, the crying things that happened that you did not expect them to happen, things that did not go your way, the moment you keep doing that, that's the moment you are shrinking. That's the moment you are leaking. Your oil is leaking. And I know in life sometimes we come to that level where our oil leaks, even without our own help. Maybe from external forces, something disappointing happens and your oil starts leaking. It is our decision to clog the leakages. And stay with the oil so that we can bounce back and shine. See, passivity at such times of crisis, times when these things have come that, you know, you did not expect. Passivity at such times with your decision making is the main door through which you enter into the kingdom of shrinking. This means that you have to make an active and conscious choice and decision immediately you hear of bad news remember we talked about your mouth some time back immediately you hear of some setback some crisis immediately you hear that you are now a candidate of shrinking that is the moment you make a firm decision in spite of the challenge that you are facing a curious thing to note though is that at the time of trial, at the time of crisis, the choice to shine can be a very, very extremely powerful and liberating one. I know the shine might not be empirical, it might not be real at the moment, but just that decision, that spiritual decision to decide I choose not to go in the flow of shrinking. I choose regardless of what has just happened. I choose to shine. That is one of the most powerful decisions you can ever make in your life. It is a decision to shine. A decision to 
be brilliant a decision to show off your glory even if the glory is not being shown today but just the fact that you refused to shrink it means you've chosen to shine and no i'm not saying that once you've decided everything is going to fall in place everything is going to become easy i'm saying that the deciding to shine is within your options and yeah it is pretty much within your reach and it is the deciding point of your light becoming brighter and brighter even as the days progresses so you have to learn to fend for yourself you have to learn to fend for yourself and to fend for your light it is for the umpteenth time let me say this it is not automatic it is always going to be under an onslaught especially when some bad news comes in some crisis comes in some setback comes in it is always going to be something that you would want to climb above something you would want to fight and you make a decision and you say i am going to shine this has happened yes but this is not my end this is not my funeral this is not the last nail on my coffin no this is the beginning i was meant to shine and for as long as i'm still alive i choose to shine so let me share with you one of the ways that you can shrink instead of shining and we're just going to look at that one way today and we'll call it a day and then tomorrow we'll look at another and so on and so forth but i think one of the ways you can be shrinking instead of shining it is simply this bowing down to mental pressure bowing down to mental pressure that has been brought about by the situation and the circumstances that you found yourself in now listen i am going to be as real as possible and i'm going to stop being motivational and inspirational and just be real with you listen to me very carefully see when we go through a crisis it is a real thing it affects our spirit it affects our emotions it affects our psychology it affects even our faith sometimes and we start having illusions as if things are going to go south the way they have started and they will never go back up again and at that moment i am not saying that we should excuse it i am not saying that it's an easy moment for you to go through i am saying it is tough i recognize it is tough but i'm saying at that particular moment in time it is the moment you are most vulnerable the moment you are most susceptible to start shrinking to give up to throw in the towel to give in to the mental pressure that surrounds you and just to say ah I am tired of this life and we've seen by the way we've seen very many people coming to the crossroads of their lives and they do give up worst case scenarios there are people who write letters and they take their own lives and they get out of this world having darkened their lives I mean switching off their lights completely and they die because they gave in to mental pressure and I'm not saying that these people are weak I'm not saying that when you give in to mental pressure you are weak. I am saying at that moment that something negative is happening in your life. I don't want to go through the catalog of negative things that can ever happen to you, but you know them. You know those situations, you know those circumstances probably. You remember when you failed an exam? Probably you remember when there was a moral issue in your life? Probably you remember when there was a family issue in your life? You remember when the economy when you lost your job? You remember these things at the that particular moment that things are happening against you that is a moment that is vulnerable a moment of vulnerability a moment that a weakness comes upon you and you can easily easily and actually you can be excused for making decisions to shrink and i'm telling you one of the ways you can shrink in life is that crucial transitional moment it is a moment that is so short in time but it can have repercussions far exceeding your own generation when you decide to give in to mental pressure when you bow down to pressure for the most part shrinking is a mental mind 
game and we talked about illusions in the previous episodes you shrink in your thoughts you shrink in your mentality before we can ever see you shrinking you have already shrunk some years back we are just seeing you today actually you are today who you were thinking some years back or some month back once your mind has decided i'm not good enough i'm not worthy i cannot make it Later on, we will see the results in your life. We will see your countenance. We will see the way you're doing things to mirror the decision that you have made. So, thinking that like that under the circumstances and under the situations of a crisis, it can be extremely critical. That's why it is important when you're going through a crisis not to make a lifetime, long-term decision concerning your life, concerning your future, concerning your business, concerning your marriage, concerning you as a human being, concerning your life itself because chances are that any decision you make right there and then are either going to determine you are shining or you are shrinking. Do not reinforce any decision of shrinking in a moment of crisis in a moment of a breakdown, in a moment of a regret, in a moment of life being dark, in a moment of crisis, in a moment of a setback. You shrink normally in your thoughts first. The problem with these thoughts is that at times they are not necessarily true. For example, you lose your main source of income and the thought starts fooling around you, flooding in your mind that you will be poor for the rest of your life. And it is easy to bow down to that because you are actually staring at the reality of the matter. The reality of the matter is that you cannot put food on the table at this moment in time. The reality of the matter is that you cannot even buy toilet paper. The reality of the matter is that the landlord wants to kick you out of the house. That is the reality. And you can decide that you are a poor person because of that. You can decide that you will never make it because of that. You can decide that life was never meant to be good for you because of that. You can even start justifying this that you had generational curses. Maybe the name you are given is a bad name. You are given a name of pain. Okay? Maybe your parents did something wrong and God is punishing you. And God is punishing you through them and so on. And you can make very many justifications. Maybe you are cursed by your great 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 grandparent whatever things people did are now affecting you and you make a decision in a moment of a crisis to shrink and you start justifying the shrink instead of making a decision to shine acknowledge the brutal facts yes acknowledge them Acknowledge that it is tough. Acknowledge you cannot buy toilet paper right now. Acknowledge you do not have food. You do not have the capacity and the power to put food on your table for your kids right now. But still, make the decision to say that you are going to shine. You are meant to shine. Reconcile your thoughts to the fact that you are still alive for the sole purpose of shining. Right now, it's a momentarily inconvenience. It is it is hard. It is dense. It is difficult for you to go through. It is uncomfortable. But that's not your destiny. That's not the entirety of your life. That does not mean that tomorrow will never come. It doesn't mean that This night will never come to an end. It doesn't mean that this uncomfort will never give way to comfort, will never give way to your thriving. See, I remember days in my life that I was in that self-same situation. And it was easy for me to have my thoughts just zero in on shrinking because it's real. It's reality. Reality tells you, man, you're shrinking. And you can easily give a mental assent and start justifying the shrinking. Although the reality is a possibility, you need to realize that it is not the only option. Shrinking is not the only option. I started this podcast by telling you there are two options. There's a binary of options. And the option is either you're shrinking or either you're shining. And you can shrink in reality and you can also shrink in the mind but you see the moment the mind has made a decision to shrink or to shine later on reality is going to follow 
when you start giving mental assent to such thoughts of shrinking, you have effectively opened the floodgates. You've opened the door for your shrinking to set in. And all that shrinking needs is not even an open door. All it needs is a loophole. See, this thing is absolutely paradoxical because shrinking is by default and all it needs is a loophole. However, shining needs a door to be opened and shining needs much more energy, much more fuel, much more thrust than shrinking does. All it needs is for you to acknowledge, yes, I am a sinner and I will never serve God. Yes, I come from a poor family and will never arise from this. Yes, and I'm going to share with you a very bizarre story, by the way, in one of these podcasts where people, I'm talking people in this century, they decided, their family lineage decided that we cannot even think of owning a cow, we cannot even think of owning a house, we cannot even think of owning land. We are servants. That's how they chose to shrink. But the moment you give these thoughts a mental ascent, you bow down to pressure. That's the loophole that shrinking needs to take advantage of. A curious thing is that many people give in and bow to this mental pressure so easily, even before they can analyze their options. People do. That's why I said, before you can make a decision, before you can even think about it, before you can ascend to the shrinking, have some time to analyze. Even if you cannot analyze, have some time to talk to someone, some guy who is positive. Come to me, radio at lifesignatures.life. Drop me an email. Let's talk. Let's explore some options before you can make a, a decision to shrink. Before you can make a decision to write that later and check out of this life and dim your light that was meant to shine. Before you can do that, it is not the only option you have. Yes, I know it is screaming in your mind. It is screaming. It is the loudest option right now. But it is not the only option. It is the most visible option right now. But it is not the only option. It is the most real option right now. But it is not the only option. It is the most felt option right now. But it is not the only option. Don't take that option before you can analyze all the other options that you have. Shining as an option might seem to be something way out there. Maybe you might feel like it will take a million years for you to ever shine. It is an illusion and it is a lie. Let me tell you, one email can change your situation. One year can change your situation. One encounter can change your situation. It is not as linear as it seems. Your progression is not as linear as it seems. So don't give up. Don't give up into the mental pressure to give up and to shrink as yet before you can do that please consider some other options that you might be having the moment you give in to this mental pressure it becomes a difficult thing to put your shine on again it is a mental game and you need to learn how to play it It is not a closed game. It is an open game and you have as many options as you might want to extrapolate from life. As you might want to enumerate. So don't give up. Don't give in to mental pressure. Very many people dim their lights because they chose to give up. And it can even be justified the giving up because it seemed to be the only option that was available. Sometimes the mental pressure I am talking about is not a walk in the park. It is insurmountable. Case in point, 
your breadwinner probably you lose your husband all of a sudden and god forbid and he is the breadwinner and you are unemployed you do not know what to do with your seven children your household has things to settle the mental pressure for you to give up is just too much and i'm here trying to tell you to shine on it might seem to be one of the most unfair motivations to give you yeah it might seem to be but i'm telling you today the darker it is the brighter your light can shine and all you need to do is to decide let me tell you something you might not be alone as it might seem the moment you make a decision to shine you will realize that there is a cloud of multitude of witnesses that are cheering you on and there are some people who would help you angels who come and when i talk about angels i'm not necessarily talk ab- talking about those spiritual beings there are some angels that are human beings people who actually come alongside to help and they are shining their light on your circumstances they're shining your light on your situation i remember such an angel in some part of my life in a season of my life where i was out totally out i mean in the dark my shine was off was basically put off no means of income whatsoever a family to feed and this angel every evening every two days will come and pass by the house to take me into his car and we go to a supermarket and takes in this big trolley and we start walking from one aisle to another and they will say pick this and pick that and we will pick every single thing that we needed in our house and we will go to the counter and they will pay every single detail everything when you decide to shine you are not alone chances are that somebody will help you god will send some help towards you and the universe let me use that word is more acceptable than god the universe will start sending signals realizing that hey this woman has sent signals that she is still alive she still wants to live let's send her hand let's lend her some help here and there and before long what so seemed to be so insurmountable becomes something that you were able to do and guess what soon enough you become an ambassador of hope to other people whose lights are being dimmed by mental pressure that has come to their lives because of a circumstance because of a crisis because of a setback because of a dark situation and you start shining your light not just in your life but also in their lives and we need you you are in a crisis today but let me tell you we need you tomorrow to shine your light on on other people's lives who are going through probably the same crisis or maybe even worse than yourself so don't give in yet to your mental pressure make a decision today I am in a tough situation but I choose to shine. Thank you for listening. Until tomorrow, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.